Hey guys, welcome back. Haven't been around. I've been on my back with a nasty uh, internal infection that really gave me a beating. In any case, I'm back. Kind of, at least for a few minutes before I collapse. And uh, we got, what we have today is I did a bunch of work to the straight port on the throttle body injection heads. And the only reason I did is because they were such losers and there was still metal there, believe it or not. So I was able to work on the bowl. I was able to work on straightening this wall a bit to feed that side of the bowl. Take a look at your liquid. It's not bad. I think I, I think it's pretty good. It's not, there's not a lot on the valve. You can see it does have some powdering all the way around. It's not bad. Let's take a look at the bore. Well, that I think looks quite a bit better than the last time we saw that. You guys let me know if I, where I'm right. Okay, you can see the absolutely enormous bowl on this. And uh, only because it was a special request, we're going uh, we're gonna to do some clay action after this. We're going to fill a good piece of that bowl, and I'm willing to bet it'll work better. It's interesting now that there's no guide restriction whatsoever. And the blue still doesn't go to the roof. And our roof speeds are pretty sad. So what does that tell us? It's probably too big, right? Or, or, you know what? Sometimes too big really pays off at the upper lifts. But it doesn't make a big old fat curve. And you know how I am. You can see as far as on the left, the amazing amount of metal that's come out of these. FYI, I would not, I really do not think this is the way to go with these heads. I should show you what I did with the guide boss. Okay, where am I? Here we are. I use this cutter, which is designed for like Viton seals. So you run it right down the guide. You have to go easy though, because it will jam. And you just cut it away piece by piece. Now, wouldn't now what would be a, probably a good idea would be take that down a little bit. I like my my guide to be about two inches minimum. Okay, these guides are really long. Why don't I measure that for you? Okay, they're only a little bit more than two inches, completely stock. So mowing them all the way down is probably not a good idea. Let me measure the one that's modified. I'm sure it's going to be scary thin. Okay, so you can do that. You can mow them all the way down. You can mow it all the way down to the roof, put a heavy wall, a uh, heavy bronze guide in there. That would work. But uh, we're going to see if we can find a better way to get some flow numbers out of these. Okay, someone's going to say, man, that port still has a lot of curve to it. Yeah, well, it really does. It's, it's very much like a J-shaped port. Could I move the bowl over to the exhaust a little more? It's about 130 thousandths now. Depends how tight you want to push it. As far as that curve below the guide right now where it's going to the left, I probably could take some more metal out of that and straighten that up a little bit more. Let me see if I can get a different view of this. Okay, as far as the ramp, it's moved all the way down to, I don't know, 5 o'clock, 5.15 position, something like that. And I figured I might as well give it a little bit of a point just to make it look pretty, because I know a lot of guys think pretty is fast, you know. Okay, I may have said this before. Sorry, guys, if I repeat myself, but if you're going to take one of these heads and make a gigantic monster port like this, this is probably around 240 cc's at this point. It's massive. Okay. You're going to need a Sonic. Now, obviously, this is the only bowl I've hogged out like this. And you're going to need to watch your your... Uh, metal thickness basically everywhere. 
In reality, I probably could start from a fresh port and make it better than this, which is actually what I'm going to do with the 194 port. I'm going to work it up. I'd really like to get it flow as well as this with like a 202. That would be happening. But we'll see. Why am I wasting so much time on this? No, well, I don't have any good jobs rolling in. Actually, there should be two, two good jobs coming in, but they're not here yet. So, uh, both of which you'll like, by the way. One's a TPI job. That should be really cool. Um, Dart 007 heads done up. Aftermarket base, aftermarket runners. Done up plenum, aftermarket throttle body. The other job... Well, I'm not sure what the other job's going to come in or not. So we're not going to worry about that right now. The other cool thing is... Let me grab it for you guys. Chris Wilhelm Helm was nice enough to send us this. This is a Holly 670 that's completely unmolested. He dug it out of his junk pile for us. He packed it and he shipped it all on his own dime. I uh, can't thank him enough. It'll be kind of cool. What I really like to do is find my completely stock throttle body. We can compare the stock throttle body, the modified stock throttle body, this holly completely stock, and then what I used to do to these hollies and uh, see what kind of flows we can get out of them. What I'm going to wind up doing is I'm going to wind up flowing just one barrel, probably through one of my uh, calibration plates is what I usually do. Make sure the calibration plate's a little bit bigger and uh, have at it. So thanks again, Chris. Really appreciate it. That was awesome of you. And... Uh, in the comments, please thank him. Okay, our liquid really looks pretty darn good considering. Remember, this port is kind of done to the max, so I can't really fix the short side radius to make it better. But we're going to be uh, filling this bowl with clay, and I'm, after that I'll probably do some clay on that short side and see if we can get it better. As of right now, let's see how bad these flows are. Okay, guys, this was our 35th cut. When I first made it a straight port, this is 36th cut. All right, so it's the first cut on top of the straight port. Was it a winner? Now, I added a lot of bowl area, and I made it so you could feed the center of the, that chamber a little easier. Did it like it? It don't look like it. All negatives. The bowl was already too big, too tall, too wide. I gave it more area and it said, not happening. All right? Okay. Well, what would happen to the swirl? Minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 minus. And as far as our air speeds, okay, top is 35th cut, bottom is 36th cut, minus, plus, plus. Look how much we drop. Well, not that big a deal, but here we had absolutely zero center of the cylinder. We may gave it more area. <laughs> it actually went up. Does that make any sense? Eh. Remember, you're changing the dynamics of the entire port at that point. So you never know until you measure it. What happened on our short side? Our short side is real active, right? Compared to what it was. Well, a little better anyway. According to these numbers, it doesn't look like the flows would be as bad as they are. But if you notice, that they're, they're not really that different, you know. They're all losses, but they're very small losses, pretty much. Okay, so the port looks prettier, but it doesn't quite flow as well. Oh, is it a loser? I consider it a loser. Already nine minutes in on this, and we're going to do some clay fun next. I'm going to see if I can do that before I collapse. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Have a good night.